A former Hutchinson police officer convicted of 17 charges, including rape, kidnapping, and aggravated indecent liberties with a child. Sentenced today to 23 and a half years in prison. KSN's Hannah Adamson reports on how Todd Allen's sentencing went down and some of the powerful statements from a number of his victims. It is new at 10 tonight. Hannah. Jeff, Todd Allen remaining stoic in the courtroom as Reno County Senior Assistant DA Kimberly Rodabaugh read several victim statements before his sentencing. Todd Allen abused his power of his law enforcement. He took my trust for law enforcement. They are no longer my superheroes or my protectors. Heartbreaking words from victims of convicted felon Todd Allen. I have not been in Hutchison because anyone that I see in black clothes made me wonder if that person could be the one from the park that night. I drank a lot after the incident and even started to use drugs after this. I got into therapy because I needed help. One victim whose identity we're protecting sharing their statement to the judge. It's hard to even feel safe in a room full of officers, to be honest. Um, because Todd, Todd Allen has ruined that safety for me. The defense arguing Allen be shown some leniency given he had no prior criminal record. There are multiple levels of rape and this is at the lower, I believe it to be at the lower spectrum of a rape situation. But the judge not buying it, saying Allen's actions destroyed lives. The uh, degree of harm was less than typical. I disagree with. Allen apologizing to the judge and the victims after his sentencing. There may not be a whole lot of physical stuff, but I didn't even think about the mental issues that people could be facing. Senior Assistant DA Kimberly Rodabaugh says Allen's victims are pleased with the outcome. Hopefully the public in the community does um, have some peace knowing that this was a good investigation and the defendant will be in prison for 282 months. The defense arguing Allen be housed out of state because of his status as a former law enforcement officer. The judge simply replying he can't tell the Secretary of Corrections what to do. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.